guys, welcome back. I got a request to do Springtrap in his own video, and he does deserve his own video so we can get a better look at him. Uh, as you can see, he does have a lot of super detailing on him, so let's get in here and get a look at him. He has, as I said, the uh, gold eyes, and these are really nice eyes. That is all um, embroidery work. I know I was saying, I think I said stitching 20 billion times in the first video. Um, let's see if I can get it to the So now we'll sit up and see it's just pointing. Um, up a yeah, as you can see, that is all embroidery work in the eyes. So that is a gold embroidery around the eyes. That's why they seem to glow in the light. And that is embroidery around the um, eyelids as well. And the eyelids are contrasting fabric to the fabric around them. And then the, you know, the nice white fabric for the eye bolts. And then he has the scar tissue to represent the, uh, you know, the uh, ruptured um, fabric. Because, you know, he's all torn up in the, uh, he's in the, yeah, third game. I sometimes get which game is which mixed up. And you can see his wires, which are the red threads with the white threads in the side. And they uh, stick up quite nicely. And he's got them coming out the ears, he's got them coming out the side. Two off the one side, one off the other. He's got one coming off the top there. And I like that they didn't skimp on the detailing. He has the rich embroidery in the ears as well. In both ears, he has it in the uh, torn ear, and he has it in the uh, ear here, too, because both ears are actually torn off. He has the um, stump here, too, that shows the like metallic, where he would have the metallic um, structure showing. So that's nice. So if you're not familiar with the game, that's what the um, silver parts are for. And um, he does have that soft nose and that softer looking muzzle he has in the game. And um, if you're not familiar with the games, he is actually the villain in the series. He's, um, spoiler alert, he is purple guy. He's the bad guy. But he does have a lot of people that have empathy towards him because he had to obviously have something wrong to make his life choices. And he has super detailing down here. You can see the tears that you would see in his body in the game. Um, and this is embroidered off really nicely. And that's important because anywhere you're going to join fabrics or have embroidery and join fabrics, what you're actually doing is you're piercing fabric with a needle. And every time you actually pierce fabric with a needle, you actually weaken the structure. So that is really nice that they went to all that detail. And this is embroidery too, by the way, on the feet. And that is extra when you uh, do embroidery on uh, any kind of uh, plush or any other kind of material. So if you ever wa wonder why when you order something, uh, they say the embroidery is free and they make that promotional thing, that's why. So, and the embroidery here, this is embroidered as well. And uh, this great fabric is, it's done, it almost looks dirty. If you didn't know why he looks aged and he looks dirty and he looks like he was put away for, oh, 30 years, that's why. Now mine has an extra string on him. Uh, there was literally only one of each, so I did not get my choice on my um, springs. So I was very happy with him. And he has these, um, the way these are done, actually, you can see, is I rock him back and forth very gently. They almost glow in the light, the way the embroidery is done. So well done. And he does have that indistinguishable, you know, almost, not indistinguishable, um, you almost can't define his color. Some people call it mustard, some people call it yellow, green, whatever. But he does have that game accurate color. And he looks, he looks fantastic. And he has the teeth closed. And these teeth are um, the softer, same kind of material the teeth are on the others. It's not like the real cheap plastic you would get in a uh, carny thing. It's like more durable. So the, this mouth is not going to open, by the way, in case you're wondering. It's not going to open. But he looks overall, he's a really excellent plush. 
and the hang tags are, um, they're like the, uh, let's see if they're, they're like the first generation, uh, hang tags. These also sell, say Vietnam. I've only gotten one so far in an official store that said China, so I would say Vietnam has to be a, uh, main thing. I have no idea why I have ever picked up one that's a China. So, um, it looks like the same cell tags as the first generation, unless they change them. So, there we go. There is our beloved spring trap. And I think he looks really amazing. If you can pick him up, I like his sculpt. And, um, tell you what, let me grab Bonnie. And I'll just give you a comparison so you can see if they're the same exact sculpt. Because I know you have to be wondering. I was wondering the same thing myself. I was thinking, oh, they're going to be the, you know, the same exact rabbit sculpt. And there you go. So you can compare for yourself and see if you think they're... To me, they're two completely different rabbits. They don't even look remotely alike. Um, Spring Trap looks twice as big. Spring Trap looks like he could take Bonnie. I'm sorry, I love Bonnie to this, but Spring Trap looks like he could take Bonnie. <laughs> okay, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And if there's anything else that you want to see, any of the other new ones that you want to see up close, I will be more than happy to do that for you. And I will see you guys later. Bye bye.